Hi, my name is Anshu and welcome to my channel Bottleneck. This is a Scala design pattern series. In this series, we will learn and implement the design pattern for Scala. What are design patterns? Why we need them and why they even exist? A design pattern is a reusable solution to a reoccurring problem in software design. It is not a finished piece of code, but a template which helps solving particular problem or a family of problems. Design patterns are best practices to which the software communities has arrived over a period of time. They are supposed to help write efficient, readable, testable and easily extendable code. In some cases, they can be a result of programming language not being expressive enough to elegantly achieve a goal. This means that more feature rich languages might not even need a design pattern while others still do. Scala is one of those rich languages in which some cases it makes the use of some design patterns absolute or simpler. Scala and design pattern. Scala is a hybrid language which combines features from object oriented and functional languages. This not only allows it to keep some of the well known object oriented design pattern relevant but also provides various other ways of exploiting its features to write code which is clean, efficient, testable and extendable all at the same time. Benefits of design patterns are code readability, testability and efficiency. This we are going to see in due course of time. So Scala design patterns. Scala is a hybrid language. This leads to a few famous design patterns that are not needed anymore. One example is the null object design pattern which can simply be replaced by Scala's option. Other design patterns became possible using different approaches are the decorator design pattern that can be implemented using stackable trait. Some new design patterns are applicable specific to Scala like the cake design pattern, pimp my library and so on. We are going to see all of them in due course of time. On the high level, we categorize the design patterns as creational, structural, behavioral, functional and Scala specific design problem design pattern and we have gang of four design pattern as well that also we are going to see in due course of time creational design pattern the creational design pattern deals with object creation mechanism their purpose is to create object in a way that is suitable to all current situation which could lead to unnecessary complexity and the need of extra knowledge if they were not there the main idea behind creational design pattern are knowledge encapsulation about the concrete classes hiding details about the actual creation and how objects are combined and on high level we can categorize the creational design pattern as abstract factory design pattern factory method design pattern lazy initialization design pattern singleton design pattern object pool design pattern builder design pattern prototype design pattern in later videos we are going to see all of them in detail with implementation Structural design pattern. Structural design pattern exists in order to establish the relationship between different entities in order to form large structures. They define how each component should be structured so that it has very flexible interconnecting modules that can work together in a large system. The main features include the use of composition to combine the implementation of multiple objects help build a large system made of various components by maintaining high level of flexibility and on high level we can categorize as uh, structural design pattern as adapter design pattern decorator design pattern bridge design pattern composite design pattern facade design pattern flyweight design pattern and proxy design pattern we are going to see them in detail with implementation in our later videos now Moving to behavioral design pattern. Behavioral design pattern increases communication flexibility between objects based on the specific way they interact with each other. Here, creational pattern mostly describes a moment in time during creation. Structural pattern describes a more or less static structure. And behavioral pattern describes a process of flow. So this is how these three are interrelated or you can say differentiated. They simplify this flow and make it more understandable. The main features are what is being described in a process of flow. The flow are simplified and made understandable. They accomplish tasks that would be difficult 
or impossible to achieve with objects. We will see them in detail while we are moving further in our videos. So now on high level, this can be categorized as value object design pattern, null object design pattern, strategy design pattern, command design pattern, chain responsibility design pattern, interpreter design pattern, iterator design pattern, mediator design pattern, memento design pattern, observer design pattern, state design pattern, template design pattern, visitor design pattern. Moving to the next functional design pattern. Functional programming is more expressive than object oriented design. Now it has three design patterns, monoid, monads and functors. We will see their implementation as we proceed further in the videos. And the last but not the least is the Scala specific design pattern. The design pattern in this group could be assigned to some of the previous groups. However, they are specific to Scala and exploits some of the language features. So these are the specific Scala specific design patterns, you can say. And they can be categorized as the lens design pattern, cake design pattern, pimp my library, stackable traits, the type class design pattern, lazy evaluation, partial function, implicit injection, duct typing, and memo memoization, memoization. So if you like my video then please subscribe and like and do not forget to press on bell icon for any further updates thank you